Genius Kids. Cultivating love for learning. Animals and their surroundings. Knowledge acquisition. In this chapter, we will study about the different habitats of animals. The migration of animals. The need for various kinds of body covering in animals. The body parts, teeth, beak, etc. and the animals eating habits. The breathing organs in animals. The movements in animals. Animals are found everywhere on the earth. They are found on land, in water, on trees, and in the air. To be able to live in the varied habitats, different animals have developed different modes of breathing, feeding, and movement. Habitat Animals live everywhere on the earth. An area where a particular animal naturally lives is called its habitat. Different animals need different conditions to live and have chosen different habitats for themselves. There are five main habitats on our planet. They are forest, desert, polar region, fresh water, river, lakes, etc. and oceans. Let us study them in detail. 1. Forest. It is a region that is covered by trees and plants. Forests provide shelter to a large variety of animals like lion, tiger, deer, bear, and elephant. Many forest animals live on trees like monkeys and birds. Small animals and insects are also found in the forest. Rabbits, snakes, and rats live inside burrows. 2. Desert. It is a dry area that receives very little rainfall. It is often hot during the day and cold during the night. Animals found here have special features that help them of survive in such harsh condition. Some animals can even store water and food in their body. Camel, scorpion, bandicoot, hedgehog are some desert animals. 3. Polar Region the region near the North and South Poles on the Earth are called polar regions. They are same as Arctic and Antarctica respectively. They are extremely cold and covered with snow. Animals that live in these regions have special features to stand with cold. Their body is covered with fur. Most of the animals have thick layer of fat beneath the fur which keeps them warm. Penguin, sea, walrus, polar bear are example of animals found in polar region. 4. Fresh water. This kind of habitat gives shelter to numerous animals like fish, frog, salamander, duck and toad. Some animals can live both on land and in water are called amphibians. 5. Oceans. It is a large continuous body of salty water. It is the largest habitat on the Earth. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Arctic Ocean and the Southern Ocean are the five oceans on the Earth. A large variety of animals are found in the oceans. Some of them are whale, dolphin, seal, seahorse and octopus. Body covering. Different types of animals living in different habitat have different body covering to adjust to different kinds of environmental conditions. Some of them are given below. Feather. The body of birds are covered with feathers. Feathers are of different and bright color. Feathers keep them warm and protect them from moisture. They also help in flight. Fur or wool. Another type of body covering is fur. Animals like yak, sheep, bear have fur on their body. It helps to keep their body warm and protect them against rain and cold. Shell. Animals such as snail, tortoise, 
Turtle are protected by shell. Shell is very hard and strong. The shell to protect themselves from danger from their enemies. Critical thinking. Beetles have hard covering to protect their body. Porcupine's body is covered with sharp spines. Scales. Animals such as fish, snake, lizard and crocodile have a layer of scales. Fish are covered with a layer of flexible overlapping scales. Bodies of snake are covered with scales. Most reptiles have horny scales that prevent water loss from their bodies. Feeding Habits of Animals Animals need food to grow, to get energy and to stay healthy. Different animals eat different types of food. Feeding habits of animals depend on the availability of food in the habitat. There are three main classes in which animals can be classified on the basis of their feeding habits. These are herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Herbivores, animals that eat only plants and grass are called herbivores. They have sharp front teeth called incisors for biting and broad teeth called molars and premolars for chewing food. Cow, goat, deer, giraffe are some herbivores. Critical thinking. Shark's teeth are modified scales. Carnivores, animals that feed on the flesh of other animals are called carnivores. Carnivores have very sharp pointed and curved front teeth for tearing flesh. They also have strong grinding teeth to chew the flesh and bones. Omnivores, animals that eat both flesh and plants are called omnivores. Examples of omnivores include man, bear, crow and squirrel. Flesh-eating birds like vulture, Hyena and wolf are special type of carnivore that feed on dead or decaying animals. They maintain a balance in nature by preventing accumulation of dead bodies of animals. Breathing organs in animals. Animals need to breathe to get oxygen. Oxygen burns the food within their body and releases energy for various activities. Different animals have different breathing organs. Critical thinking. Blood of insect is not red in color because it does not contain oxygen carrier that is hemoglobin. Microscopic animals like amoeba, paramecium breathe through their body surface. Insects breathe through air holes on their bodies. These holes are called spiracles. The spiracles lead to air tubes which form a fine network that reaches every tissue of the body. Air enters through this network. The body tissues absorb oxygen and give out carbon dioxide which is expelled from the body. Gill is a breathing organ in all aquatic animals like fish, crab, tadpole, prawn, etc. Animals like frog, crocodile that spend part of their lives under water and part of it on land are called amphibians. A baby frog or a tadpole breathe through its gills. An adult frog breathe through its lungs on land and through its moist skin in water. Other animals like birds, mammals, reptiles breathe through their lungs. The function of the lungs is to transport oxygen which is inhaled through the nose to the blood and to release carbon dioxide from the blood. Movement in animals. Animals can move from place to place. This movement is known as locomotion. Animals need to move in search of food, protect themselves and their babies from predators and to build resting and breeding places. Different animals have different body parts to move. Land animals. Most animals have four limbs. The two front limbs are called forelimbs and the two at the back are called hind limbs. Most animals use all four limbs to walk, run and for other movements. 
Water animals, fish have fins for swimming. The two paired fins are used to move forward. The unpaired fins maintains balance and the tail fin helps to change the direction of movement. Turtles use their paddle-like limbs to swim. Frogs have webbed feet to swim, while they use their long hind legs to hop on land. Penguins use their two forelimbs as flippers to push water and to swim. Insects Insects can walk, crawl, jump, hop or fly. They are six-legged creatures. Insects like ants and cockroaches crawl on their legs. A grasshopper uses its long hind legs for hopping. Water insects like water boatmen use their legs or oars for swimming. Some insects have two or more wings to fly. They have no feathers and strong muscles. They move with the help of their chest muscles. Insects such as lice, bed bugs do not have wings. They cannot fly. They move by crawling. Reptiles, like lizards, snakes and crocodiles use various forms of locomotion to move from place to place. Snakes have scales or plates on the underside of their bodies. These plates are attached to their ribs. When snake move these plates act like feet and the ribs act like legs. Besides plates they have strong muscles and a flexible backbone which helps them to move forward. Birds, they can hop or walk on land, swim in water and fly in the air. The forelimbs of birds are modified in the form of wings that help them to fly. Crow, sparrow, eagle, parrot etc. are common birds that fly in the sky. Some birds like ostrich, emu and kiwi are called flightless birds because they cannot fly. They have heavy bodies and weak wings. Birds use their hind limbs to walk, run, catch prey and even attack their enemies. Birds like duck, swan etc. can also swim in water due to their webbed feet. Migration Migration is defined as the movement of an animal from one region to another at certain times of the year in response to change in weather, habitat or availability of food. Animals migrate to escape harsh weather, to search for food and to reach their breeding grounds. The Arctic tern nests near the North Pole in summer and flies all the way to Antarctica in autumn to escape the harsh cold condition. The European stork travels from Europe to Africa every winter. When spring comes it returns to Europe to the same nest. The Siberian cranes nest in western Siberia and migrate to India. Their migration route stretches about 6,450 kilometers. Some animals take the help of sea currents to find the direction. The reindeer find their direction with the help of the sun's rays. Birds follow the coastline. Besides birds, some other animals like caribou, elk, snow bats, whales, etc. too migrates in search of food. Monarch butterfly migrates from Canada to Mexico in winter. Continuous review. The place where an animal grows or found naturally is called its habitat. There are five main habitats on the earth, forest, desert, polar region, fresh water and ocean. Different animals have different body covering. Feathers, fur, scale, shell are some of them. Feeding organs are modified to the kind of food they eat. Based on eating habits, animals are classified as herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, and scavengers. Insects breed through spiracles, fish breed through gills, birds breed through lungs, Mammals breathe through lungs and amphibians breathe through gills, lungs and moist skin. The movement of animals from one place to another is called locomotion.
The movement of animals from one region to another region in response to change in weather, habitat, or availability of food is called migration. Like, share, and subscribe.